North Canterbury's community radio station joining with me in the studio is uh, Leah Kelsey. Uh, Leah, good morning and welcome to Compass FM. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Look, you are more than welcome. What we're doing here at Compass is we're making a big effort and getting local artists and uh, those that have recorded music actually into the studio and get your song on the radio. Yeah, it's amazing. Now, you've uh, had a wee bit to do with radio a couple of years ago, a two-minute stint somewhere. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, that's the only time that you've been in, right? Yeah, yeah, so, that's right. So this is all new. I know, very exciting. <laughs> it's pretty exciting. <laughs> and it's exciting for us here at Compass FM as well because it makes us different. It makes us different and being able to highlight and promote local artists like yourself. Totally. When, when did you know that you could sing? Oh, I feel like... I feel like I always liked singing, but I'm a very shy child, so it was kind of maybe to myself or just chilling. Um, but what really like kind of started it was in high school, there was a, a school production. Um, it was Greece, and um, me and my best friend, we both like auditioned. We were like, we'll just go for Sandy and whatever we get, we'll be happy with. Yeah. Um, not, not intending to get Sandy or anything. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then when we went to audition, they were like, oh, it's either Sandy or, like, nothing. Mm. And we were like, oh. So we just had to commit. Um, and I somehow got Sandy. And I, it was, like, my first time singing in front of people. And they were like, wow. yeah, they were like, oh, like, you should you should do Sandy. And I was like, okay. And I did. And away and, you went. Yeah. Was, yeah. This, was this Kaiapoi High? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Who, who was the music director for that one? <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, well, it was like, um, I think I had a media studies teacher called Mr. Morrison, mm. and he was definitely the one that like helped me out a lot. I also had a music teacher, Mr. Crossan, as well. So, yeah, they were both very helpful. Good morning, Mr. Morrison, <laughs> and good morning, Mr. Crossan. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's absolutely wonderful. So you hadn't actually sung in, in public uh, right up until your debut on the no, stage for yeah, Greece. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's incredible. Did your parents know that you could sing? No. No. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just kind of did it. Um, yeah. And um, sadly, before, like, just before the um, the production, mm. um, my grandma passed away. Um, and me and my brother just sung at her funeral as well. So before the production actually happened was when they would have heard me sing. Um, so I guess technically the first time they heard me sing was at, at her funeral. At your grandma's funeral? Yeah. What, what was her name? Uh, Lois. Lois, may you yeah. rest in peace. Yeah. Brill bliss. You've had a wee bit of uh, help with some producers and some other lyricists and other bits and pieces, but you pre- predominantly do everything yourself. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it saves money and it helps me get better. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, too. Yeah, if I uh, do it myself. Well, the likes of Craig David. Um, he used to produce all of his music in, in his bedroom. Uh, Daniel Beddingfield, a New Zealander, oh, yeah, he, he yeah. recorded all his music in his bedroom oh, as well. Oh, that's so cool. Isn't it a great? And, and in fact, uh, every now and again when we go off here and we have to do a voice break for Compass FM, I do my voice break from my bedroom. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so we can, uh, do, it's amazing what happened. No, well, let's not go there. Uh, <laughs> what we have got here to play, uh, Leah, is your song called Not A Love Song. Yes. Um, we're going to play it now. Um, cool. and, and I'm not going to talk to her about anything because this is the first time that this has been played on radio, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, it is. So your mum and your dad and uh, the, all your posse are listening in. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> without further ado, uh, we'll play Not A Love Song, Leah Kelsey. This is Compass FM. Do you mind if I try listing all of the conscious thoughts in my head? Am I really truly here right now? It feels like I could be dead. Your move, what would I do if we never had what we had? You'd lose It's true We both know better Try to not 
FM with Leah Kelsey and uh, Not A Love Song with me in the studio at the moment is Leah Kelsey. That's a very nice song. When did you write that? Thank you. Well, I wrote it in, it would have been January, mm-hmm. um, as part two of my Song of the Month project. This Song of the Month project, tell us very briefly about this. What, what is this all about? Yeah, so I procrastinate a lot. Um, I work well with deadlines. So I was like, well, I'm just going to tell everyone that I'm going to release the Song of the Month. So now I have to. So it's basically a... Um, and that's the second one? Yes, that's the second one. Okay, we haven't heard yeah. the, oh, I haven't heard the first one, so that's okay. That's, that's all right. What I want you to do is to keep uh, forwarding them through. And um, gee whiz, if they're, as, if they're as good as that, then oh, we'll probably throw them you. on the Compass FM oh, at the same time. exciting. So can anyone in North Canterbury buy that particular track? Or anyone who's listening at the moment, we've got a lot of people listening to Compass. Do, do you, How would you buy Not A Love Song? Yeah, so you can buy it on like Apple Music, um, or you can just stream it on Spotify and give me that um, point zero 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 three of a cent. Yes. Um, and, you know, any... Honestly, the thing that I like the most, or the, the thing that I want to get most out of music is just people listening yeah. and, like, enjoying it, putting it to playlists. Like, I just want, yeah, to be heard, really. Okay, and if uh, people don't... Uh, or uh, go away and they, they purchase the 0.0001% uh, <laughs> yeah. of a song. Um, but you, do you actually gig live as well? Yeah, yeah. So I do... Um, I do like to do original gigs. Mm. Um, I just recently started, like, end of last year with, like, um, a band. I used to do just kind of solo stuff. Um, So, yeah, I'm super excited to branch more into, like, band stuff. Very exciting. And keep going, eh? Yeah, totally. So you're you're in the music industry at the moment, aren't you? Yeah, I do my best. Yeah, Yeah, we're about to know you. Where about, where about, whereabouts do you work at the moment? Oh, so I work at um, at Music Works uh, on Colombo Street. That's by so. South City there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you ever need anything, come on, stop by. We're a nice, friendly team. <laughs> Must admit, uh, I bought plenty of guitar strings on there myself <laughs> at, uh, at this moment. Uh, Leah, thank you so much for coming into Compass FM. That song there, uh, not a love song, we're actually going to be playing that on a regular basis at oh, Compass FM. So okay. exciting. Thank you so much, and thanks so much for having me. It is our pleasure. Leah Kelsey from Kaya Poi yes. and uh, sounding so good on Compass FM we'll keep in contact with you okay oh thank you Compass FM 89.4